Human trials are set to begin on a vaccine for coronavirus this week in the United Kingdom as the world frantically searches for a way to end the pandemic. UK government, which has made £20 million in funding available for the project, says the first patients will receive a COVID-19 vaccine developed at the University of Oxford starting tomorrow. According to Health Secretary Matt Hancock, another £22.5 million is being made available to a second vaccine project at Imperial College London to support Phase 2 trials and help prepare for a larger Phase 3 study. Researchers are understood to be pushing for a speedy development and production of the vaccine in the coming months, though this will highly depend on the success of the results. If they are indeed successful, it's thought that millions of doses could be created and distributed by September at the earliest. Mr. Hancock confirmed that preparation is being done to ensure that if the vaccine works, production can and will begin rapidly. He explained that they will also invest in manufacturing capabilities, so if either of these vaccines safely works, then they can make it available for the British people as soon as possible. Experts have predicted that life as knew it before the coronavirus outbreak won't return until we have a vaccine for the disease and can distribute it extensively. Without one, the risk of spreading virus and potential causing another spike in infections is too great and social distancing measures are expected to stay in place in one form or another until a vaccine is found. Usually, medical vaccines take a number of years to be developed, approved and then mass produced. But due to the necessity of a coronavirus cure, any such vaccine will likely be sped through the approval process. The Oxford trial is testing chimpanzee adenovirus vaccine vector, a candidate based on a chimpanzee adenovirus modified to include the spike of S protein on the surface of SARS coronavirus 2, the virus that causes COVID-19. It will be tested in around 500 volunteers and will focus on safety and tolerability as well as providing an initial assessment of how effective the shot is at stimulating an immune response against SARS coronavirus 2. The Oxford team, led by Professor Sarah Gilbert, has previously tested an adenovirus-based vaccine against the MERS coronavirus, another coronavirus that caused an outbreak some years ago, and she found that it could generate an immune response for at least a year after dosing. A long-acting response is critical as there is some evidence to suggest natural immunity to SARS coronavirus 2 could be short-lived, making it possible people who have had the virus before could be at risk of reinfection unless immunized. The Imperial candidate has been developed by a team led by Professor Robin Sattok and is an mRNA vaccine against the S protein on SARS coronavirus 2 using a similar approach to a vaccine developed by United States Biotech Moderna which is already in clinical trials. Imperial's mRNA vaccine has been in animal testing since early February and could be ready for human safety testing in June. The team say they are seeking further philanthropic support to conduct parallel international trials to accelerate progress and ensure the vaccine is widely available globally, including in low- and middle-income countries.